Guys, gals, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Today, it is time for a flashlight review. Now, this one is from Phoenix. This is the PD36R flashlight. Now, a few months back, I took a look and reviewed the PD35, which you see right here. The PD36R is essentially its bigger brother, bigger sister, whatever you want to say. It's essentially a little bit bigger in every single way, and it offers a little bit more power. Now, there is a huge difference between the two. The PD36R is rechargeable, whereas the PD35 is not. The PD36R features a USB-C input. How about that? This is one of the very first flashlights out on the market that features a USB-C charging port. That's awesome. That means one cable for me to charge my cameras, charge my flashlight, and my phone as well. With that being said, let's jump to the review now of the PD36R flashlight. When it comes to the max output for this flashlight, you're looking at 1600 lumens. When it comes to the weight with the battery and pocket clip, you're looking at 5.8 ounces. It's not bad at all. When it comes to cost, you're looking at $100 even, and that includes the charging cable, the battery, and the flashlight, and so on. Talking about the battery for a minute, this is a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. It has a battery level indicator, on off, clicky tail switch, on the body mode selector switch. It's made from aluminum. And when it comes to the modes and battery life levels, let's talk about those right now. The highest mode is 1600 lumens and it will run for roughly three hours. Next you have high, that's 800 lumens. You're looking at six hours. Medium is 350 lumens and it will run for eight and a half hours. Then you have low, which is 150 lumens and it will run for 26 hours. Lastly, you have eco, that's 30 lumens and it will run for 115 hours. You also have a strobe mode, which features the full 1600 lumens. When it comes to the light itself, it is warmer. You will notice that it has a little bit of a yellow tinge to it. This is essentially what you receive. You get the box, you get the flashlight, you get the pocket clip, you get this gigantic 5,000 milliamp hour battery. You get a holster, which I have not used. You get a charging cable, which I also haven't used because I have plenty of those. That's what I use for my phone. You get a lanyard, additional switch cover, and an O-ring. Warranty information, advertisement, and instruction booklet. Now, when you compare the PD36R to the PD35, from a distance, they look almost exactly the same. The PD36R is slightly longer. As you can see, it's slightly larger in diameter as well. Both have pocket clips. The PD35 is not rechargeable, where the PD36R is. Speaking of which, here is the charging port. The pocket clip for the PD36 is not interchangeable, so you can't switch this around. It's one way, and that's it. You have the LED, and that is the SST40 LED. With the PD35, it is a 1000 max lumen flashlight. That features an 18650 battery, which is 2600 milliamp hours. With these two flashlights, essentially what you have here with the PD36 is a slightly larger, slightly more powerful, slightly more expensive flashlight. With the PD35, you do not have that rechargeability factor. Less lumens, less power, less size, and so on. When it comes to these two flashlights, which one would I personally purchase? I would go with the PD36R. I like the fact that it's rechargeable, it has the USB port, which again matches my phone and my cameras as well. The fill, the fit, the finish, the size is virtually the same, so it's not taking up any more space. The battery life on the PD36R is very, very impressive. It was already good with the PD35, but it's even better with the PD36. With that being said, everyone, let's get this review over with. I'm sure you have plenty to do today. So starting with the pros, this flashlight offers an impressive output level, 1600 lumens. It does a good job of balancing throw and flood, certainly better in my opinion than the PD35. The switches are all very good quality. It's an easy to use flashlight, which is a huge plus when it comes to using a flashlight. It does feature memory functionality. So when you turn it off, turn it back on, it stays at that level. In truth, there really isn't much to complain about here. The price is good, the functionality is good. There really is no area of weakness when it comes to this flashlight. It's well built, there's no glaring issues. I've had no glitches, nothing like that. It does get warm on the highest setting, but not super, super hot by any means. The charging port cover is excellent. At no point in time do I have this thing popping open. It does a really good job of staying recessed. It's an excellent charging port. The pocket clip is excellent. It allows the flashlight to go deep into your pocket with very little sticking out. When it comes to the 1600 lumens, I have read online reports from those who can actually measure lumens. They have the right technology and so on. 
that this flashlight actually outputs more than 1600 lumens. It's been rated by these sources to be around 1800, which is very impressive. For most people, this is a complete package. It offers a good balance of flood and also throw with excellent battery life. For an example, on high, you're looking at almost six hours of runtime. When it comes to the cons, there's no direct access to the lowest mode, and also there's no direct access to the highest either. So you can't double tap for turbo, you can't triple tap for low or anything like that. You have to simply go through the modes. When it comes to the eco mode, that's 30 lumens. That is a little bit high for an eco mode. Typically that's around five lumens. For myself, it's nothing really to complain about, but some people will. Some people want the lower lumens for the eco mode. In this review, I've gone over the pros, the cons, I've gone over the stats. Now the question becomes, what do you all think about it? Make sure to comment down below. I'm always curious to hear what you all think about the flashlights that I review. I love flashlights, I really do. And I know that there's many of you out there who do as well, and that's why I review them. I have plenty of reviews coming up in the future, not only from Phoenix, but from other companies as well. All in all, this is a very good performer if you're looking for a flashlight of this type, of this caliber. It offers great performance, great battery life. Of course, you can go out buy a $10 flashlight, but in truth, they do fail to compare to flashlights such as this in many ways. Ultimately though, it really does depend on what you specifically need, what you specifically want. And with that being said, make sure to email me if you have any questions, comment down below. Everyone take care, strength and honor. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next time. Bye guys. Bye.